Hi, what's up, guys? In this video, we are going to solve a very simple and beginner friendly problem from Code Wars, which is move first and last character from a string. So, let's first of all, what we will do is I will tell you a three different methods to solve this problem. Not a single, not a two, but we will use three methods to solve this problem. So first of all, let's read the statement of this problem. So it says, it's pretty straightforward. Your goal is to create a function that removes the first and last characters of a string. You have given one parameter, the original string. You don't have to worry with strings with less than two characters. So first, what I will do is, we are saving a string and we want to remove the first and last method, uh, last character from it. So I will use three different methods. First, we will use the substring method. Next one is going to be the slice method. And the third one is going to be by converting into an arrays. By converting array and using pop and shift method. So we will use these three ways to create this function so first of all what I will do is I will uh, I we are receiving this string and we want to return something from this function so what we will return is we will run this substring method and then what we will do is we want to remove the first and the last character so we will provide the characters that we want to remove this, uh, remove from the string so I will provide the one which will be the first uh, one and then we want the last one which will be the string dot length minus one so string dot length minus one will give the last character so this is the first method which will remove the first and the last character from a string so let's run this test case so let's see if it's working or not the output will run here and now you will see it is not passing so let's see so it is saying str dot substring is not a function so let's see what's happening here uh, because we have mixed a, a missed a spelling of s so let's write the uh, spelling substring that's why we have found uh, this uh, problem as you will see uh, this method is completely solving this issue so we have done with the pro method one the next method is going to be the slice method so let's comment this line and now the next method is going to be the slice so we have a string and on this method uh, on this string we will run the slice and what we will do is we will provide two values for because we want to remove the two characters from the string so the first one is going to be one and the last one is going to be the minus one minus one represent the last so let's let's test this code and as you see this method is also working now we have completed two methods and now what we'll do is we will use the third method to solve this problem so the next method is going to be by converting it into an arrays and using the pop and the shift method so i will remove all of this code from here now we want to convert it into an array so let array one we will create a variable with this array one and then what i will do is i will create uh, i will convert this string by using the split method into an array so this string is converted into the array and on array what we want to do is we want to convert this array or we can say we want to remove the first and the last characters so to remove the first character i will use the shift it will remove the first and to remove the last character what i will do is i will use a pop method so it will remove the first and the last characters now what i want to do is i want to convert this array into a string now in the earlier part we have converted this string into an array now i will return an array one and i will convert it into a string by using the join method so let's test this method now you will see if this method is working properly and we have solved the same problem with three different 
uh, ways. So if you will learn something new from this video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and also tell me in the comments what kind of videos you want in the future. So I hope you have learned something new from this video. This is the end of the tutorial and have a nice day.